So, for a while, I've been working on the What Happened To series, mainly a series based on my opinion and research on what I think happened to show, network, YouTubers, the whole thing. But never have I thought that the video I did on Scary Theater would bring me as much attraction as it did. Like, the fact that it blew up is absolutely insane. But I'm happy to say that this is not only the end of something, but now the beginning. This is a new series called An Interview With, in which I interview lost media YouTubers, creepy media YouTubers, and just YouTubers that I do a somewhat similar style to. This won't be a series that happens a lot, but when I can, I will make it happen. But this is also the end of the What Happened To Scare Theater videos, as you will be able to hear from himself on what happened in this video. I just want to say thank you so much Scare Theater again for doing this and you know you're gonna hear me say that a lot in this video uh you know actually doing this interview it was really fun to do it and also sorry to you guys uh the quality isn't the best with the video but audio is fine and i also had a bit of a headache during this so just just do know that in advance but without further ado here's the interview enjoy audio all right cool so thank you for joining me scare theater i feel super honored to uh be able to do this with you this is a super cool opportunity you've given me and yeah. i'm uh very happy to do it with you awesome <laughs> so uh with most questions i kind of want to just uh you know skip over anything basic you know stuff like that but i i i kind of want to go for more interesting questions on this okay sure so uh do you just want to dive right in uh yeah, go ahead. All right, cool. Uh, so first question is, why did you want to start a YouTube channel? So when I first started this, um, like I had been like doing a bunch of other YouTube stuff like before Scare Theory even started. Like I think when I first started Scare Theater, it was in 2012. And I just made a couple like dumb videos on it. I didn't like really, I wasn't very active on it. And I was doing like other stuff. I had like, I was doing like a gaming commentary channel. Like I did a bunch of stuff since I was like 10. And obviously none of that stuff really worked. And then when I was um uh when I was fifteen, I think, yeah, I got my first job at a grocery store. It was Wegmans, and I was a cashier there for a while and I didn't like doing it. And um at the time I told my dad that I, I wanted to quit and he told me that it's like my dad, he's always been an entrepreneur. He runs a business too. So he was like, All right, if you want to quit the grocery store, you gotta find some other way to make more money than you're making at the grocery store. And I'm like, okay. So I just was trying to figure out, you know, what ideas I had out there. And I was like, well, I was like, well, I remember I, had, I did the scary theater thing back in 2012. So I'm like, I wonder if I could just try to like revive that a little bit and just focus on one thing that I was interested in, which was like this internet mystery stuff. So I just started with that. Um, and out of, you know, it, it just kind of slowly grew. At first, I was making like very little money with it, but then it, it, it just grew very, very quickly, quickly, more quickly than I thought it was going to. And then eventually, once I was making more money doing that in the grocery store, I was able to quit. And I was like, oh, this is super cool. And that's kind of like how, how Scare Theater began. And it just all evolved from there. Oh, that's also awesome. really cool. That's that's kind of what I'm trying to do right now. I hate my job too, so <laughs> I try to do the exact same thing. So, uh, when you uh, was this like you know, uh, what made you get into the content you like to make nowadays with uh, this kind of like creepy mystery type stuff? So, that's a good question. I don't. I'm not entirely sure because I know like ever since I was young, I've always like liked being scared. You know, like I've always loved going to haunted houses. Yeah, I live. I live in Pennsylvania. I live like maybe like 15. I live like a 30 minute walk from Penhurst. And do you know what, what Penhurst is? Uh, yeah, yeah. I believe yeah. you've talked about it before, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I live like a 30 minute walk from there and like a five minute drive from there. Like I every like Halloween, I used to go there for their haunted house. I don't think they do that anymore, but that was super fun. I always liked, you know, watching horror movies, all that kind of stuff. So I remember like, especially back when I first started doing scary theater, like this was before we had a lot of the other bigger names too so we had all these these creepy videos out there like obey the walrus i think was the first video i ever made or like you know yeah, did like an analysis your, on. Uh, oldest video that was like the first one that pops up yep yep so that was uh you know that that video like 
literally freaked me out for years. It's, it's not even that creepy. I mean, but to me, yeah. it, to me, it, it was like I, I had nightmares about that for literally years. Um, but yeah, like all, all that stuff just always really fascinated me. And I guess there's kind of like a niche there for, you know, exploring them a little bit deeper and it stuck. So that's, yeah, that's what lured me in. Wow. You know, I mean, I, honestly, to me, to me, you were a huge inspiration for the, at least the style I do and stuff like that. Like your content, blame it on Jorge, all those kind of people. Yeah. Yeah. Were big inspirations. Uh, were you hesitant to do this interview or was it something like you've kind of wanted to do for a while? Um, <laughs> I was kind of hesitant to do it. I mean, well, yeah, because I mean, I just saw your request on Twitter or you, you messed me on Twitter and I was like, you know what? I've been out of the public eye for a long time. I'm like, I might as well just do it, you know? So, yeah, I kind of had to like force myself to do it because I have like really bad social anxiety. So like it just like it's tough for me to like talk to people sometimes. <laughs> so like, yeah, but it's always good to put yourself outside of your comfort zone, I feel like. So, yeah. Yeah, because because like one thing I've always uh, sort of noticed is at least when it comes to your channel, your Instagram, Twitter, stuff like that, you don't really reply to yeah. people. Yeah. Like like I mean like I I had been <laughs> I had been commenting and adding you on Twitter for like the longest time. Like, dude, come on, I really want to do this interview. So like, is I mean, obviously the reason you've given is your uh, social anxiety is is something you've had. Or is there, is there any yeah, yeah. Um, you don't really connect with your fans, I guess you could say? Yeah, I will say definitely in the past couple of years, I think I've kind of, yeah, been disconnected. Um, I don't, I don't really know. It just kind of happened. I, I can't really give a good answer for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, try, I'm, try, I'm trying to change that, but yeah, I can't really give a good answer. Yeah, I, I, I can tell. Yeah. Uh, did, did you ever think your channel would get to where it is now? Like how popular it is and everything? Or was it like kind of like, oh my goodness, wow, or like this is a huge surprise to me? Um. So I think when I first started it, like, I wasn't really sure where it was going to go. I always felt optimistic about it. And then I think after it started to really grow and, like, I was, like, connecting with some of the bigger people. Like, I remember uh, very early on, I remember I did a collaboration with, yeah, Blame It On George and also this other guy. Um, I forget his name now. It, um... Totally... Wasn't it that creepy reading? That uh, creepy reading, I think was his name? Because I well, think maybe. Was there's, one guy, there's one guy's name is Hoodoo Hoodlum's Revenge. Do you know who that guy is? Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. know exactly. Who that was, one of, the, that was one of the first like mentions I got from a guy that was like, so much bigger than me at the time, and that was like yeah. that was like huge for me. I think because I think he made a video about Obey the Walrus too after I made mine, and then he mentioned me. And I remember like I was still like in high school at the time. I think I was in high school, and I was like, yeah, I must have been. I had to have been. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I remember I was like walking home from school one day, and I saw that like he mentioned me, and I was like, oh, this is so awesome. And like I saw all the people like commenting on my video, and I was like, oh wow, like this is great. And it was like, from that point forward, when I saw how quickly everything was growing, I kind of like, I figured it was going to get to this point eventually. So, yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's honestly amazing to hear. Uh, do you think, this, this actually came from a comment, because I was asking people, like, hey, dude, I might be doing this. If you guys have any questions, you know, let me know and I'll ask him. Uh, this actually came from someone who's, do you think you've influenced the horror YouTube genre? Like with people covering it? Do you think you're an influence on that? Um. I don't know if I should say this, but I think so. I, I think <laughs> I like I like to I don't like I don't want to sound like like pretentious or anything, but I kind of yeah, yeah, feel like, like stroke your ego. Yeah, like but I, I feel like like I, I was like the first one in the horror analysis space. Like I feel like I almost I don't want to say I created the genre, but I feel like I was kind of like, you know, one of the early pioneers in it at the very yeah. least. So, yeah. Yeah, you definitely were one of the earliest pioneers. I remember watching you when I was like a little little baby boy, little <laughs> little baby boy. Uh, do you ever think uh, this is actually something I've really wanted? Cause I know you did like ARGs and stuff. Like you covered a lot of those. Did you ever think you would like maybe cover like analog horror type stuff? You do like uh, kind of like what Nexpo did with the Walton files or local 58. Uh, what do you mean by analog horror? What is that? Like, 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 uh, the analog VHS horror series that people do. Oh, like, I local see. 58 or stuff like that. Like the Mandela catalog. Would you, do you think that'd be something you would cover? I'm not familiar with much of that. I I think I know what Local Fifty Eight is. Is that the? It's it's just like broadcast kind of, but like it. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It's like the creepy newscasts, uh, news broadcasts yeah. and stuff like that. That stuff has always interested me. I haven't really done much on that, but that is, and especially because a lot of the other guys are have already covered so much of it. I just don't know if I have much else yeah. to add into it. But yeah, I would be interested in it, especially if something new came along that no one has really touched yet. But yeah, that stuff yeah. has been super interesting to me. I, I watch a lot of Local Fifty Eight, so yeah. 
so th- there's also like a lot of these questions are a lot of things I, I kind of want to know. So uh, in your opinion, uh, out of all the videos you've done, what is like probably the one you're most proud of? So um, I think the one that I'm most proud of is probably my, you know, my well second most recent one, the one that I made on, on day trading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, one was yeah, like crypto and all that. Yeah, yeah. That that video was like, um, I think well, that that, that, that long, may have been the longest. Long video. Yeah, that may have been the longest video I've ever made. I was super passionate about that. I worked really hard on that one, and like that was. I feel like a lot of the videos I've been making, like out of all the the most recent videos I've made, I've definitely had the most fun making that one. Like that was that was that was really fun to make. So I would say that one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, actually, considering we're talking about that video, uh, during the time. You were gone from the site. I barely sociable had mentioned that you were kind of talking about like investing or stuff like that. Oh, okay. He mentioned that. Yeah, I I spoke to him, but I didn't know if he actually talked to anyone else. Did did that ever have anything to do with what that video was about, or was it kind of like just more of a your own thing, and then the video came after? Um. So, so yeah, I I I was like big into like um, and during my time when I was gone, I definitely did get a lot into like investing and day trading and stuff like that like never like super deep into it um uh but like yeah i would say that i think a lot of the stuff that i learned in that time doing it was i, I think it helped me with this video because i mean when you get like deep into that kind of stuff like you yeah. you learn very quickly that everyone not everyone but most people in like the day trading space almost all of them are scammers i would say like but like 99 percent of them are and there's that one percent uh, that are reliable enough videos to know that that they're definitely scammers exactly yeah yeah it's very hard to find anyone that's genuine like in that whole video i talked to the one guy stock jock he's the only one that i've ever met like i looked i looked into more than just those four people Uh, but like out of everyone i looked into stock jock was like the only one that i truly thought was genuine which is why i painted him in such a good light in the video so yeah i really did like that video a lot that was definitely one of your best so far you've made yeah (laughs) uh now, now I am curious if there was one video though that you could like kind of redo or like you know like like uh, I guess make it better in a way. What video would it be, and like why? That's a good question. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I can't, I've made so many. I, I, I truly can't answer. That. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> you can't figure out which one you'd want to redo. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, is, is there any YouTubers you'd love to collab with? Like when you just be like, like, like if someone came up to you like, "Hey, dude, we should collab," you'd just be like, "Oh my gosh, yes, Lord." Um, is there one out there? Yeah, I guess it'd be cool to collab with uh with Nexpo, and maybe um and maybe barely sociable too. Yeah, that'd be cool. I think. Yeah. yeah. I would love to see that. Honestly, like <laughs> straight up, that'd be so cool mm-hmm. to see. Yeah. So is is there any video you've always wanted to make? Like like one you've always had kind of in the back of your mind, like I would love to make this, but you just haven't been, I guess, like given that opportunity yet? Um, or is it kind of like any video you've ever wanted to make? You're like, okay, yeah, let's make it. Let's do it. And then you did it. So not not exactly, um, but I can foreshadow something here that I've been thinking about. I don't know if I'm actually going to go through with it because it just feels like super ambitious um, for, for this. But, yeah, yeah. Um, so... There's this one guy. I won't. I won't say who it is right now because I don't know if, if this is actually happening or not. That I made a video about years ago. Um, it was like a debunking video, and this guy just recently messaged me. I didn't even remember who he was before he emailed me, and he, I guess, was upset with me uh, for making that video about him. And he wants to box me, is what he said. I don't know if he's being facetious or if he actually wants to do it. Oh. <laughs> but I'm like, that'd be so cool to like do like a like a YouTube boxing match. Like, you know oh, what I mean? YouTube yeah. So like, I don't know. Like, I I'm probably gonna reach out to him just to make sure he's actually serious before I actually like go through with this. And also like, just judging by the email, like like just the grammar of it, I'm a little worried that he might not be totally mentally sound. So I want to make sure he's like actually like fully there because i'm not going to fight someone that isn't fully there you know what i mean yeah so, yeah, obviously, obviously. yeah but that would be super interesting if that happened yeah <laughs> so so if, if he is that's that might happen might like, yeah like maybe serious about it and is like mentally sound if he's serious about it then yeah i would do it that'd be fun that'd be super fun oh yeah. dude I, I would watch that yeah <laughs> <laughs> that would be the funniest thing yeah so uh when you came back to youtube uh you started doing this i, I noticed you kind of uh, visited that stone city Mm, whatever yeah. that i noticed you did talk about in a earlier video uh did I? a while back about i remember you talking about like you and a friend wanted to go visit it but you weren't allowed to 
but my question is, when you came back, you started like this kind of weird ARG type thing. Was that? Is that, 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 like, that what people thought it was? was that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know because you you upload a lot of weird stuff like the spongebob VHS yeah, yeah. or whatever so I was, was that supposed to be like some type of arg or was it just like uh this would be funny yeah 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 good question actually because yeah i will so when i came back um i was like kind of trying to, i spent a lot of time thinking how am i going to make my reappearance here right so um yeah so this the concrete city thing that was that i just thought was just gonna be like a little funny video to explain like where i was all those years like that's like i did just like disappeared yeah. in that little cave or whatever for like a year <laughs> or something and then um after that i was like you know i'm just gonna like i just wanted to kind of experiment with like a new kind of genre for a little bit like just like i guess like half shit post half just like just like just the weird stuff i was posting at like the spongebob thing and the liminal space thing i just kind of wanted to see like how people reacted to that i just thought it would kind of add to the mystery a little bit before i got back into the regular stuff so yeah it was never an arg there was no like deeper meaning behind it it was just just me doing weird stuff really that's it <laughs> man i made a whole video about it thinking it was an arg nope, too nope nothing to it nothing to it, uh, <laughs> <take nine minutes>. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> all right so uh you i also noticed you've you're, you're almost hitting that one million subscriber mark you're getting very close you're at nine hundred sixty nine thousand right now yep any special plans for that milestone or you want to is that something you kind of want to keep on the hush hush for now i have no plans we'll see what happens when i get there as of now there are no plans but we'll see maybe i'll change my mind you'll you'll you'll, you'll just repost uh the one of the uh debunking of the walrus yeah maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do that <laughs> <laughs> just repost that video yeah and maybe you guys go enjoy yeah potentially uh are there any other args you've been looking at that you might want to cover or is that kind of like something you kind of want to leave in the past that kind of content of like looking at args and stuff like that yeah so as far as args i've just completely lost interest in it because i feel like at least when i was making them like they interested me at first but i feel like they all just it just feels too repetitive for me you know what i mean like I, it, it felt like they kind of became made just so you could cover them because i noticed uh, a lot of people actually in your twitter comments too saying like oh my goodness scare I, I made this arg i want you to take a look at it it's like yeah that that feels like yeah that too a lot of them were like low effort i feel like because of that yeah and and yeah. they just never led anywhere and it's just it, it bored me i guess so i just yeah I, I i could i can imagine that i'd probably get bored too who's that uh -huh. let's see here I have a whole list of questions I want to see before we can get to like the really juicy ones, the one that everyone's going to be wondering about. So, uh, okay, well, you know what? I don't really have any more, so I guess we'll just go ahead and hit this. Now, this is the question, obviously. You knew this was going to come up. It's the main question that probably everyone wants to know. Why did you leave YouTube? Yeah, so the reason I left was because uh, I, I never, I guess, really planned for it to happen the way that it did. I just kind of got very... Um, I was very burnt out with the content I was doing. I was burnt out from just YouTube as a whole and from social media as a whole. And I was just like, yeah. just kind of struggling with my mental health for that year. So I just needed to like, just stop for a little bit. And initially take I take a break. Yeah. Initially I thought I was only going to be gone for a couple of months, but then that turned to like six months and then like a year. year. Yeah, exactly. And then it, it was like year. a full on year. Then you came back. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know uh, Barely had also talked about it. They, uh, you were burnt out, and so you kind of took a break for that time. But yeah. I wasn't. Exactly I did not sure know the guy like, talked about me. I didn't. Know, I had no idea what he said any of this. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. He was doing all social media. I, I tweeted at him because I, I was working on something. I was like, "Hey, do you know what happened?" Yeah, yeah like, no. Yeah, I remember. Man. Yeah, one night. I I don't even remember why we talked. One night. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. One night I messaged him on Twitter, and then I added him on Discord, and then we talked for like at least like an hour that one night. That was that was a while ago though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah because he's told me he's like yeah it's been a while since i've talked to him so i don't i don't yeah. know it's like oh okay uh but i um, mean do, do you kind of regret the way you left with like just kind of just vanishing and not really giving an explanation or do you kind of like stand by that idea of like the way you left like you're okay with that um i think i'm okay with it yeah just because i mean maybe it would have been okay the only thing that maybe i think maybe i should have done a little better was when i was gone i was still getting occasional emails and like there were some things i still knew like i knew that people thought that i was dead like people yeah, genuinely yeah. thought i was dead for a while no, and, yeah, I, and yeah, i and i, I and yeah and i and i didn't yeah. say anything i didn't tell people that i was alive which that's the one thing i think maybe i should have done that but other than that yeah. i don't i don't regret the rest of it though yeah i saw some people on instagram like uh because originally because you know your instagram account is like your name and stuff like that but i saw one account yeah, that actually went under the name scare theater yeah 
Yeah, yeah, some people yeah. were doing that. Yep, Scare Theater official yeah, is not me. Yeah, Scare... yeah, yeah, yeah. The only yeah, Instagram that's account that's mine is Eric W four eight four, and that's it. The rest are not me. Yeah, <laughs> but, but like I saw people in there is like, oh, you know, Scare Theater come back, and it's like some people were saying, oh, he's dead, and his mom runs the account now. That's what I heard. I, like, yeah, okay. I heard that too. Yeah. No, yeah, it's, it's it's like that just makes no sense. It's yeah, like, I feel like if it, anything, she would tell us what happened. If, yeah, if that were to have happened. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I, that's what I think I probably should have stepped in for a little bit there. I think the reason I didn't because I was like, well, if I step in and say I'm not dead, then I'm going to get bombarded with like a thousand more questions about where I'm at. Yeah, and I was just at a point where I'm like, been, what you've been doing? Exactly. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, oh, I just oh, I don't want to deal with this. So I just like put it off yeah, too long. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, but yeah, because because you were in that state. Yeah, actually, you're just like, I couldn't deal with that. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So, uh, why why did you choose to come back to YouTube? Was it just were you, were you just like mm, I kind of want to do this again, or it was more was um, yeah, I don't well. So after um, yeah, after the whole break kind of happened, I guess I just kind of felt like I'm not sure how to really explain it. I just kind of felt like I just wanted to get back into it. I guess that's really all it really is. I just you know I, I just looked at like the audience that I had, and I felt like kind of bad that like I left you know, without explaining anything. And I was like, I don't want this to be the end just yet. So I'm like, and you know, I felt good enough to where I feel like I can um, make videos again and like enjoy doing it again. So, and that's also, I think why my content has changed a little bit. Like I'm still going to be making the kind of stuff I made before, but I definitely want to try to branch out into other stuff too. Like with the day trading video, like that wasn't anything horror related, but you know, still just investigating other stuff that i find interesting too yeah. would be so, cool so you want you want to start doing more investigating content yes and exactly stuff like that. So instead of just like oh this creepy thing here creepy thing there yeah exactly because I, I really like doing that kind of stuff i just it's hard to find something that's like deep enough that i'm interested in that hasn't been covered yet that's tough to find so that, yeah. that, is, that is true <laughs> yeah so uh actually going back to you know because you were talking about your recent video the uh, crypto one that was like over an hour long do you want to do more long uh form type content like that or is it kind of just like a one-time thing here and there that you plan to do while still doing like the regular like maybe 10 20 minute video yeah if i can um i guess if i can find topics that are as vast as that one is that i'm like truly interested in then yeah i would love to do that again because the thing is if i if I wasn't as interested in that as I was, the video wouldn't have been that long. So it has to be something that I'm yeah. like actually like truly passionate about doing. Like this last video that I've just made um, today, it's only about 10 minutes. It's like seven minutes. Um, the one about yeah. uh, the Cape Intruder. That one was interesting. And uh, while I was investigating that, I actually found one of the victims of the Cape Intruder. And I I, um, I texted her and or I, I called her. I left a message and she called back. And I told her, like, you know, the video I was making about this and I asked if she would, like, be willing to do an interview to talk about her experience with the the intruder because she was, like, one of the victims that he actually visited. Yeah. And at first, like, like she was kind of for it a little bit. Like, she was a little hesitant. And I just told her, I said, listen, we'll do the interview this Sunday. This was last week. I said, we'll do it this Sunday. Yeah. And um, I'll send you all the questions beforehand so you know what I'm going to ask. And she was like, okay. And then literally the next day, I'll read you the text she sent me. And I was a little upset, but it is what it is. She said, uh, where is it? Here we go. She said, I looked around on the internet and found stories and videos on the intruder. I do not have anything to add to this story. I moved out of Cape May in 2010, so I'm canceling our appointment to talk on Sunday. And I just said, okay, thanks for letting me know. So I was like, well, damn. I feel like that would have been cool to have that interview in there. But So I had to take the interview out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I was actually kind of worried like you were doing this because because you, you were a tricky man to get a hold of. I tell you. Oh, right. yeah. That's what I've been told. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you, you, you were very tricky to get a hold of. And so like when I sent you a message the other day, like asking if, you know, you want to record your own or I record it for you. The fact that you didn't like uh, get back to me until like today, at least. Uh, I, and I figured you were busy making the video. and all I was going to ghost you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, no, no I, I, I was genuinely upset. Like, like I, I was afraid. Like last minute, you could be like, "Sorry, man, I can't do it." And I was like, "Ah, oh, crap." Yeah. Like, no, like, no, yeah, I wouldn't do that. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank goodness. All right. All right Although so, I think I did uh, end up doing that with uh, barely sociable. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Barely, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. You did you, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> now, now here's one for me that I am beyond curious about, and and I don't mean to be stroking my ego or anything like this, but I am genuinely curious. Did my video on you uh, disappearing thing have any influence on you possibly coming back? I'm not sure if you saw that or not. I didn't see it. No, I know. Yeah, I know, yeah, I, I know some people have made videos. I haven't watched any of them. Yep. So, yeah. 
Well, don't. It's not that good. So <laughs> <laughs> I watch it's it not, now. I watch it now. But yeah. if if you do, I will I will regret it. It's like oh no, that's cringe. Uh, so I, I'm assuming you're back to YouTube at least for a good while. Not, yeah, not yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be probably. here. I'll be here for a while. Yep. <laughs> that's awesome to hear. And I guess you know, uh, you know, final question of any interview that they kind of have to ask is, is uh, for YouTubers making content like yours or even like me doing the same style, like what's advice you could give to them? Oh, that's a good question. This? Um, I have no idea. I can, I can tell you this is what it was when I first started that like when I very first got success, like starting, you know, when I was like 10 making like stupid skits and then gaming videos and stuff, what made the main difference was that I was like, when I was doing gaming commentaries, I so wanted to get like big doing that, but never really worked out. One, because, well, first my videos weren't very good, but also because the space was super saturated. Like everyone was doing commentaries at the time. I don't know how it is now, but um, I, I think when I did Scary Theater at that time, like no one was really doing what I was doing. So I think that was probably my biggest edge at that time. Just like if someone wanted to see this kind of content, there was literally nowhere else they could have done it. So I feel like you were, it, oh, the, you were the hookup exactly yeah so i feel like nowadays with the horror space i mean if you want to get into it it's not impossible i mean it can be done a lot of these guys have done it and they've done very well at it but like i think it's definitely gonna as as the number of participants grow the harder it's gonna be right so i think that's really what it is you have to make sure you have something special about the way you're doing things that no one else is doing either that or you'd have to go into some other space that no one's doing which both of those yeah. things are not very easy to do that's why so many people fail at this so yeah it's not easy and there might have been a little bit of luck involved i'll admit that maybe i don't know but yeah well yeah i'm sure i'm sure that shout out definitely helped. oh yeah for sure yeah <laughs> yeah networking will help too yeah <laughs> yeah all right well that that seems to be all the questions i have at like any other questions i had you kind of answered with your other questions too okay perfect <laughs> so that kind of uh eliminates those questions but uh i i honestly straight up man thank you so much for like giving me this opportunity to do it with you this was awesome you've been uh d one of the guys i definitely looked up to when i was doing when i first started youtube like this is the kind of content i want to do so i definitely appreciate you giving me this time and doing this with me yeah thanks i appreciate it yeah thanks for the interview good questions yeah no problem man and you know uh yeah i guess that's it for the interview so okay cool <laughs> uh, I'm gonna stop. all right so that was it I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank, Thank you for you. watching, and I will see you on the flip side. Not bad, Scare Theater. Not bad. <laughs>